What do we think is wrong with existing funds? Most existing funds are actually closet index trackers. The average fund manager doesn't think that the biggest threat to their career is losing you money. They think the biggest threat to their career is deviating from the index because they can't be criticised if they stick somewhere to, close to the index. They're too diversified, uh, basically. They own too many shares. Now, portfolio diversification is something that uh, uh, it clearly is a be of benefit to investors. So what do I mean by too diversified? There's a man called Harry Markowitz, who in 1952 got a Nobel Prize for economics for proving the benefits of portfolio diversification. But you have to look carefully at what he said. He didn't say that unlimited diversification was a benefit. If you look at a, a market, and this is actually the US market for a period of years, you can see that we've measured on the vertical axis risk or the variation of, in a share from, uh, in terms of share price variation. And you can see on the horizontal axis, we've got the number of stocks. And you can see from that, that you can't get very much below about a 27% deviation, no matter how many shares you own. If you own the entire market, that's about the amount of deviation that you had during the period that we're looking at in terms of the variability of the price. That's if you own the entire market. But look at 20 stocks, you get almost all of the benefit at 20 stocks. That's why we own a 20 stock portfolio, because the problem is if you own the entire market, there aren't thousands of good companies out there and we only want to own good companies. If you are too diversified, you will own a lot of things that you simply don't want to own as investments. And if you own more than about 20 stocks, you will own more than is necessary to get the benefits of diversification. The other thing people do is they trade too much. Uh, the average mutual fund manager in the UK turns over 80% of your portfolio every year. That means two things. One, they must think they've got new ideas for about 80% of the portfolio, which would surprise me because I don't have that many good ideas in a year. Uh, the other thing is, of course, it incurs a cost. As well as the fund management charges you're paying, you more than double the cost of running your fund from the trading which they do. They trade too much. And the final thing I would say is performance fees. If you're invested in any form of hedge fund or alternative investment strategy, you may well be paying performance fees. You may be paying the typical two and 20 performance fee, 2% of assets and 20% of any gains. What will that do to the gains on your portfolio? The example I've worked out is if you'd invested with Warren Buffett in June 9, 2, uh, 1965, when he took control of Berkshire Hathaway, if you'd put a thousand dollars into Berkshire Hathaway shares then, and you'd held them, for the intervening period, you would have had 45 years of over 20% per annum compounding. Your $1,000 would now be worth about $4.4 .4 million, which is clearly a great performance. Now, Warren Buffett does the same thing as I do. He basically invests in the same piece of paper as you. He owns Berkshire Hathaway shares, you own Berkshire Hathaway shares. He doesn't charge any fund management fees. But let's imagine that he charged performance fees, just like a hedge fund, that he charged 2% of assets and 20% of any gains. Of that 4.4 million that you would have made, how much would be yours and how much would have accrued to him as the manager? Now your job this morning is to guess, because what I've done on this slide is I've split out the 4.4 million between the amount that the investor would have kept and the amount that the manager would have got on that two and 20. And you've got to guess which line is which, the red line or the gray line, who's who? And the answer is, you, the, the investor, would have had the grey line. You would have had about $400,000 at this point, and the fund manager would have made it away with $4 million. You should never pay performance fees. Even if Warren Buffett is your fund manager, you shouldn't pay performance fees. And by the way, Warren Buffett by and large isn't your fund manager. Most people are going to underperform him. That's what a performance fee does to the amount of the gains that you're going to get. So what's wrong with existing funds? As I say, most of them are closet index trackers. They take diversification too far, farther than you need. They trade too much and they charge you performance fees which take too much of your gains. The bottom line is that you suffer.